What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I'm Jenna and today we're going to be unboxing the PlayStation 5, as well as some accessories. Thank you so much to Sony and PlayStation for sending me a review unit as well as all of these incredible accessories. I'm just gonna get right to the point. Let's unbox it. I thought about unboxing the console first, but I think I'm gonna make you guys wait. Let's start off with the Sony DualSense charging station. So with the charging station, you will be able to charge two of your controllers at the same time. This kind of makes it like a nice little compact dock and that way you won't have to use any other USB ports. You just have this separately, put your controllers on it and they'll charge. Since we have the charging dock, we might as well go ahead and open up the DualSense wireless controller. Other than the console itself, I would say this is the other thing I'm extremely excited about. I've heard nothing but incredible things about this controller and I am so excited to get my hands on it, literally. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's actually happening. Okay, I really like this. This has a very nice feel to it. So not gonna lie, the PlayStation controller was never one of my favorites, but this new design feels really, really good. So we have the USB-C charging. We also now have haptic feedback, which we will be able to feel more physically responsive feedback. We have adaptive triggers, which also you'll be experiencing varying forces and tension when interacting with your game. We have the built-in microphone where you can chat online with your friends. This also now has signature comfort, which you can enjoy an intuitive design featuring an enhanced sticks and touchpad. I'm excited to actually turn this on and game with it, but not yet. Okay, so next up we have the PlayStation HD camera. With this, you have 1080p HD capture, background removal tools, as well as a built-in stand. Very excited to try this out. So this just has a normal USB and up here it has a flexible design. So if you want to place it on your monitor or wherever you're gonna be placing it, it is super flexible so that it should be able to fit exactly what you need. This is actually gonna make it a lot easier for when I don't feel like turning on my other massive Sony cameras. For my streaming setup, I actually do use Sony cameras with the Elgato uh, Cam Link, but this is also a really good option because a lot of the times I'm not even doing 4K and this is such an easier way to stream. This also is maintaining the new design of the console, which I really like. Here we have the Pulse 3D wireless headset. Oh God, I almost lost my finger. So here's the thing about Sony. All of my cameras are Sony. Um, my, my favorite headphones are Sony headphones. So I'm actually really curious to see how that kind of translates to like my gaming experience as well. Very lightweight. Oh yeah. These actually feel really nice. They're not too heavy. They have a nice soft touch on my ears and they look pretty cool. It has this little flexible band here so that it can uh, kind of conform to your head. And here we have a bunch of buttons. We have the chat, we have the game, off, monitor, volume, microphone, mute, USB-C, as well as the 3.5 millimeter. Also, when you push the mute button, it will pop out and it will be orange, which you probably wouldn't be able to see if you have on, but you can feel it. So you can feel it's like stuck out a little bit. This has a dull hidden microphone. It has a built-in rechargeable battery, as well as easy access controls where you can quickly adjust audio and chat settings. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack, refined ear pads, and a wireless adapter, which you can just plug and play with the PS5. All right, so now that we have all of our accessories open, let's open up the console. Play like never before. Can you even see me? Let's open it up. I want you guys to see it first. But I realize that's probably, well, actually, yeah, I can push it out. I think it's upside down. Are you upside down? Oh my God. Oh, okay, play it cool. Play it cool. Oh boy. I need a bigger office. Oh my gosh. What do I do? Oh, wow. Oh boy. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's here. The all new PlayStation 5. It's surprisingly a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But wow. I love the finish on this. I love the design. How many different things can you do with the console? Like the more creative they get, but also while keeping it like pretty minimal, I think it's great. Let's see what else is in the box. 
Okay, so in the box, we obviously have another DualSense controller. We have the power cable. We have a USB-C to USB cable, as well as an HDMI cable. So we also have a base for the PlayStation. Keep rotating until you hear a click. I heard a click. For the vertical position with the base attached, make sure the hook is in the position as illustrated. It looks like it is. Put the console on. Oh, that's nice. Place the console with the rear side facing up. Remove the screw hole cap. Okay, well, I didn't do that, actually. I should, I shouldn't do that. There is a screw hole cap. Okay, remove the screw hole cap. Attach the new screw hole cap from the bottom of the base. This is incredible. There's a freaking screw in the bottom of the base. I am very glad that I decided today to read instructions for the first time. And then we have to carefully Screw it in to the base. This is the opposite of carefully. Okay, that's actually way more firm. I was wondering, I was like, this doesn't feel very stable, but now with this secret screw, stable. You are also able to use the base to place in a horizontal position, which I should have demonstrated before I screwed the screw on. But the good news is it's easy if you change your mind. So for this, you'll do the rear side facing up for horizontal. Line the base with the marked area on the console. For the horizontal position, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is rotated kind of off to the side. You then line it up with the markers up here and place it like that. And there you go. You're now able to position it horizontally. I'm just gonna take the base off for now because I'm, I'm just doing some stuff here. All right, so back here we have the HDMI out, we have the power, we have the LAN port, and we have two USB slots. And then on the front we have the power button, we have USB-C as well as USB type A. Now there are two different versions of the PlayStation 5. This obviously is the one that has support for discs. But if this one isn't for you, there also is a digital version which does not have the disc drive. It's probably a little bit smaller as well, I'm assuming. So it's really up to you on what your preference is. I would say that having this isn't a bad option. I do have a lot of other discs, but I am definitely moving more towards digital. So overall, my first impression of the hardware, I really like the look. I think the design is cool. It's new. It's sleek. It's interesting. It's got like the whole black and white. You know, it's not just like a black console or like a white console. It's got both. I really love the feel of the DualSense controller. I'm really excited to test this out. The haptic feedback, the sounds. I've heard great things, but I'm really excited to try it for myself. Unfortunately, with this video, you guys are just getting um, hardware, unboxing, and first impressions. There are definitely going to be more videos about the PlayStation, so let me know in the comments what you want to know, and you might just see them answer in a future video. Once again, thank you so much to Sony and PlayStation for sending me this review unit. I cannot wait to turn this on. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content and I'll see you again soon.